So what do we mean by recycling? Recycling is the process of collecting and processing materials that would otherwise be thrown away as trash and turning them into some new products. But is there really a need to recycle? Let's look at some facts. Plastic may take up to a thousand years to degrade in a landfill, which can cause a lot of land pollution. Not only this, but enough plastic is thrown away each year to circle the earth four times. Also, recycling plastics takes on an average 88% less energy than making it from its raw materials. Now, let's look at the different types of plastic recycling. First, we have primary recycling, which is a physical method which involves recycling of waste into products with characteristics similar to the original product. Next, secondary recycling is also a physical process, but in this method, Waste is recycled into materials with characteristics different from original product by producing granulates. Tertiary recycling is a chemical method in which plastic is broken down into monomers. Around 80% of plastic waste can only be recycled by tertiary recycling, so it is the most sustainable method of recycling. Quaternary recycling involves burning of scrap plastic to produce energy, but it also causes pollution by releasing harmful chemicals into the air and hence it is not preferred. But what happens to plastic while it is being recycled? Let's try to understand. The first step is sorting, in which plastic is separated according to its type and make. In the next step, the plastic is washed properly to remove any impurities present in it. After washing, the plastics are passed into shredders which break them into small pellets. Next, proper testing of the plastic is done to decide its quality and separate it into different classes. Finally, the plastics are melted so that they can be extruded into pellets which are used for making different plastic products. Now let's look at some advantages of recycling. Firstly, it helps save electricity and natural resources as a lot less of these are used in recycling than making new products from scratch. Secondly, it helps reduce the quantity of waste generated and clear up landfills. Thirdly, it can help create job opportunities in the different aspects of recycling. And fourth and the most important, it helps reduce pollution. So what can you do? Here are some ways you can help. Firstly, make sure that the waste at your home and school is segregated into different groups. Next, ensure that the waste plastic containers, bottles, etc. are sent for recycling. Third, always try to buy recycled or recyclable plastic products. And remember, every little bit counts.